WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green, meaning all the U.S. indices that we track, they're trading to the upside. Dow's up 108 quarter percent three tenths for the s p or 15 points quarter percent for the nasdaq 50 points there 13 uh, points for the russell semis are up 14 trannies are up 94 you got gold trade down eight bucks silver's off six pennies lights recruit is off 47 cents natural gas is up a penny 30 year treasury up nearly one point printing out at 117.02 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel Market update chart, we begin. The ES Mini, upper left-hand side. It's approaching its one-to-one -one price target of its A to B equals CD pattern. That's at the 52.27. Level, we're up at 52. We've been up as high as 52.23.50 today. Spot volatility still below its 50-day exponential moving average. That puts the uh, gives the uh, buyers the edge in the markets out here. The NQ has attained its one-to-one -one price projection level up at 18.222. Its next target would be 18.449. U.S. dollar index has formed or is forming a new daily profile. It is bullish in structure, but what's more important about the profile is that it is in between the prior profile. You know what that tells us? Prepare for a consolidating market inside the U.S. dollar index. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold right now trading with inside its weekly profiles, not doing a whole heck of a lot. 22.78 to support 24.48 is resistance. If we take a look at silver, silver uh, trading in the top of its daily profile right now, that's up at 27.84. If price can close above that, we should see a run to the top of its weekly profile up at the 29.51 level. Light Street Crude is still waiting for a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. If it does that, then we should see a rally. Now, there's a new profile that is attempting to form. 78.24 is support and resistance up at 80.31. Natural gas looks like it'll be its second day above the top of its consolidation pattern. That increases the odds that this is a consolidation breakout with the measure move up towards the $2.40 mark. And right now, the 30 year Treasury, it is taking on, it is trading above profile resistance. Up at 116.10. Its next price target or its next battleground is likely going to be a trend line. That's a trend line coming off the high from March the 7th. You can then tag the high from March 28th. And you can see you've got a little bit more room to run for the day. I'd say that resistance level is around 117.16 uh, out there. If it does get above that, well, there's a larger descending trend line that is out here in the 30-year Treasury. Folks, stay tuned for the uh, Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.